Okay, in this video I will show you how to download Windows 10 ISO image and then install it on VMware Workstation. So this is a continuation of the previous recording. So if we search, uh, if we Google uh, Windows 10 ISO image, okay, search from here then Windows 10 ISO image. And please go to the official Microsoft site. And if you go to here, it will ask you to download a tool to create for you the ISO image. We're not updating the operating system on my laptop. So if we go and find the installation media, this will download an exe file, which will allow you to create the image. So I will run. And then this takes a little time a little bit slow but if you wait and then download the image it will be saved to your disk and then you can use that iso image to create a windows machine a virtual machine Okay, we accept the uh, license agreement. Okay, so it gives you two options now to upgrade this PC, which we are not doing, uh, but our uh, option is to download an ISO image. So we would say next, and then recommended for this PC, you can tick that one. It just tries to follow what settings your computer needs and based on the laptop you are downloading the software on. So we will choose ISO image and then say next, and then choose a folder where you can actually have your doc. Uh, the software let's say in my documents I create a new folder and let's call it an uh, image Windows and in here I will call it Windows 10 because I will have some other versions of Windows as well then this installs it downloads the operating system but it prepares for you it prepares for you the image It takes some time uh, to download and create that image. Okay, so it finished and then the ISO image has been created. And if you now say finish, then that file is now saved into the directory where you created your uh, the here should be the image yeah you've got the iso image now and we're going to use that image to build a vmware based a virtual machine and if we now close that window where we downloaded the image from and if you open the vmware workstation now if you say and um, create a new virtual machine it will ask you if you use the typical two options then you can choose multiple options from here or you can just continue with the recommended typical one so if you say next and now you can point to where you downloaded the image to so if we browse and we go to document we have that image which we just created from Microsoft page and then it detected the Windows version here and if we say next then we are calling that machine Win 10, that's Windows 10, dash PC1, for example, if you want to create multiple ones for your lab. And then the installation uh, directory where we're going to have that machine, if you browse to the 
PC in the C drive I created this folder and I created that folder for Windows 10 machine so if you select that and if you next then let's say we choose 150 it won't take it won't take all the disk from your computer but then we'll put 150 and if you want to change the memory the uh, NIC card uh, things like that you can say customize and I want to put it on a different network we will explain separately I will choose VMNet1 and there's a reason why I'm doing that in a different video I will explain I will choose 4 gig and the processor I will use number of cores per processor to be 2 and then if I want to add any other hardware I can just select from here for example if I want to add one more NIC card if I want to create other things I can do it from here or even after I finish I can edit the settings and then add whatever I need so this is now completed this says after you finish the settings the machine will power on you can unselect that just in case you need to edit anything which we need so now it prepares the folder and if you go back to where we're installing the software it's here on VMs it creates all these files this is the uh, Windows 10 configuration files so we wait when that completes then it appears here on the left that machine is now running uh, it's built and prepared on your laptop you can create multiple machines here and so if I edit the machine again while it's off and if I select options and go to advanced settings then I will select BIOS this also explained separately and then I can now boot the machine and power it on then the machine loads the operating system from the image file we created so it found the Windows image and then we continue installing Windows 10 that way Here you select the language and you select the uh, keyboard the time zone and if you say next we just say install now the rest of the installation i will create another video but this now loads the operating system it starts to install on this virtual machine and we don't have a product key so for now we say i have no product key and i will choose windows 10 professional and next and accept the license then we're going to create a new installation we're not upgrading an existing one the disk we assigned was 150 we didn't change anything from that just continue and now it starts to build the machine from there so on a separate clip or video i will show you the rest of the installation thank you